The Palestinian American teen beaten by Israeli authorities during rioting is now under house arrest amid escalating violence in Jerusalem that has sparked fears in some sectors of a new intifada or mass uprising. Video reportedly showing 15-year-old Tariq Kader being beaten by security forces emerged on Thursday and was quickly picked up by major media outlets, adding fuel to the fire. Kader was arrested during a clash with Israeli forces, one of many which started earlier in the week when Kader's cousin, Mohammed Abu Kader, was found burned to death. Mohammed Kader's death is widely seen as retaliation for the abduction and murder of three Israeli teenagers mid-June, part of a spiraling back and forth between Palestinian and Israeli extremists. Now, Israeli authorities have sentenced Tariq Kader to nine days of house arrest for taking part in the riots and being in possession of a slingshot used to hurl rocks at police. For its part, Kader's family denies reports from Israeli authorities that he was involved in the riots. Outrage. Suhad Abu Kadir, aunt of Tariq Kadir, says the teen is just your average fun-loving American high schooler. He plays soccer. He takes selfies on Facebook. And the Israeli investigation into Kader's cousin's death has made headway as the Jerusalem Post reports six suspects have been arrested in connection to the murder. Details are slim, but authorities say the six had nationalistic motivations. Still, the continued violence has raised concerns of a possible third intifada. Previous intifadas plunged Israel into violence between 1987 and 1993, and again between 2000 and 2005. The Washington Post reports the killings have brought Israeli-Palestinian relations to their most combustible level in nearly a decade, and Friday's running street battles revived dark memories of intifadas or uprisings from decades past. And a story from the Times of Israel backs up that claim, reporting that the Palestinian Authority has threatened a third intifada if U.S.-brokered peace talks fail. But fears of another intifada seem to surface whenever there are clashes between Palestinians and Israelis, and not everyone is convinced. A columnist for 972 Magazine says the idea of a third intifada is a narrative that Western journalists have played up, writing, the Palestinian Intifada, like the Israeli policies it resists, has never paused. In the meantime, before the violence boils over, Egypt is working to negotiate a truce between Israel and Hamas to stop the recent fighting. For Newsy, I'm Sebastian Martinez.